I never wavered. Powerful. Um, Yanks are rolling. Uh, we got a big Padres Dodgers series coming up. Uh, baseball's still hot in the streets. Uh, I know that was our our big phrase last week, maybe the week before. Like there was an NBA playoff game yesterday. Nobody cared. Um, so baseball wow. baseball's still hot in the streets, man. I feel like there's probably another reason for that. I don't know if you heard of the uh, NFL. There's another sport, but like, <laughs> you know, it's it's a dose. Like everyone gets their dose of the NFL, whatever you were missing. Ooh. James, how are you doing? Oh, I'm awful. I feel terrible, and I wanted to go nap. One of the worst part is Katie's gone for the day. She's gone yesterday as well. So it's just me and Mac home alone. And where you don't have any garbage bags. Mm. I haven't had time to go buy any yet. So I just have all the garbage I've accrued, like, on the countertop. Yeah. We go buy garbage bags as soon as we're done with the show. So it just, like, I'm sick and I'm also living in squalor. Yeah. Perfect. Like, it's like a bad combo. Every day. It's the camera on. Can you see it? Hello. Today is Monday. Today, fourteenth. We're back at it. Football happened yesterday. That was cool. Uh, Jimmy, notably, usually there, has been replaced by a bunch of hats because they do better content. Um, no, he's very sick. Uh, we'll see. Scared of the COVID. Anytime anyone gets sick, I guess Katie was just sick and didn't have it. So I don't know. Maybe he's just sick, sick. But we're battling. Trevor Plouffe is gonna hop in talking Yanks, which means we're gonna get some bad takes, BBD. Oh my god. So a little worried about that, but uh, we'll fight on. You know, the ain't no rest for the wicked. Today is September 14th. We are doing the voicemail episode. Special guest Trevor Plouffe, as we hope Jimmy survives. I want you to kind of check what I got going on here. Not only do I have the pinstripes. Yep. I got the Seahawks hat on. Yep. Because Russell Wilson... Is also a member of yeah. the New York Yankees. Yes. I heard they were going to take number three out of retirement and give it to him because he's that damn good. Where'd you hear what that you from again? That? Where'd you hear that I, from? I just made it up. Sources. Former twin you stud. Watch Yankees games. Does, you're familiar with me. Does talk, <laughs> does talk in baseball. <laughs> Has been to the second deck in left field one of the two times I've appreciated Trevor Plouffe this year. The other one was because... You told me you faced Mariano Rivera, and I was like, God damn it, man. That's pretty cool. So, um, spend most of my days talking to you anyways, but normally not in the Yankee circles. Where are you uh, Where are you at with the Yanks, Trev? I'm excited to be here because I believe I've watched more Yankee games than any other team mm. this year, and I'm listening with the home broadcast, all of that. So, mm. I feel like I'm pretty caught up. On the Yanks, I've been kind of telling you guys to chill out a little bit. Yeah. And here we are after, uh, did they sweep this weekend? They swept four games. They've won five in a row. And, I mean, they're back. They're yeah. 100% in the playoffs. Yanks, Jays kick off their series tonight. Davies on the bump. Is it is tonight time on Walker? It's Davy Day for you. It's Davy Day. It doesn't matter who's out there, BBD. So, yeah, Davy, it's exciting. Day. It's going to be second time facing a team. And it's funny because you're like, oh, that's cute. You got a little baby chain. Like, way yeah. to go. And then it's like, okay, well, that's kind of dumb. Let's let's get a real gold chain. You get the little baby this big, then it's this big, and it's it's a progression. Yeah. You went straight to the top. Yeah, you know it. You know it. <laughs> that looks like Miguel Sano's chain. Yeah, God. <laughs> How different this would look on Miguel Sano. Yeah, myself. I was going to say, that might look like a little baby <laughs> They would chain. look like a <laughs> snake <laughs> chain, yeah. It's me. Davy Garcia. Mm-hmm. No, it's just Jake. Oh, well, or is it Tyler? I don't know. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton just got called up by the Yankees. That's, in theory, very good news. Excited for that. I actually haven't thought about that yet. Watching him play baseball I kind of ruled that out. <laughs> he was like our best hitter the first couple weeks because he's won an MVP, but we don't think about him. Um, 
They sent down Anduvar, which is a little sad because they kept Tyro, who's been playing bad, but I guess they want the infield running. Anduhar is not going to get at bats. I guess they want to get him at bats against Clark Schmidt at the AAA site. Pretty bizarre. And the other big news that just happened is they announced the MLB playoff format. And they're playing every day. So, like, Hap or Monty would be starting games. So, I think Clark, who could have been off, might be back. They might get him a start. I don't know. My mind's kind of blown by it. So, hey. <laughs> Let's get this on tape. Here's what I got. <laughs> My biggest shot in the dark on why Andujar got sent down. They're stretching out Clark Schmidt because he's got to start a game because A, we want him on our team and B, they need to push Cole's start back to line him up for the game one of the wild card. Shut up, Pedro. And Andujar is going to go to AAA and face Clark Schmidt for like 20 at-bats. <laughs> and that's what they're going to do. That's all I got. That's my best My best thing. Kyle Higashioka, the Yankees' backup catcher. Really cool dude. We met him at spring training. Uh, pretty reserved, uh, but just like cool dude, guy you want to hang out with. He uh, he got some laughs out of us because he we had him on a podcast, and he said he was like, "Yeah, I'm just not much for small talk," and we're like, "Dude, that's all a podcast is." Um, but he was he was really cool, and he had a dream night for a major leaguer: three home runs, uh, pretty awesome. A guy that was drafted out of high school in 2008. Didn't make it till the majors till 10 years later. Guy was a minor league baseball player for a decade. Finally gets his shot. He's up and down with the Yankees. Romine's blocking him. He's the backup. Now he's catching Garrett Cole, and he's doing a good job of that, apparently, because Garrett Cole's been really good, which has led to some controversy in Yankees land. Go check out Talking Yanks. But he has a three home run night And that's just really cool There's a lot of good baseball players that will never do that He's smiling when he's rounding the bases So he's realizing that it's kind of kind of silly uh, So shout out to Higster um, Good dude, huge night I can only imagine what the clubhouse was like afterwards I, I think they all went nuts on him I've, I've got something for JJR Which is a running theme I got trapped on the subway yesterday Oh, So I'm on the subway And I wear my shark mask Roosevelt's We are live from the Roosevelt studio People have been loving the shirt today Also Roosevelt's So I wear my shark mask Whatever So I'm on the subway And the short fella gets on um, And he looks pretty normal Like He's, I don't know Normal, in shape, short guy Probably a couple years older than me Clearly pointing at the mask And he goes Ah! Probably before your time, huh? And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I think, is, is it technically their Jaws mask? I think so. I'm guessing that's where he so was So that's going. where he ended up. And so he goes, Jaws. And I was like, I was like what? <laughs> what? And then he keeps talking. Uh, and he's like, guess how old I am? I'm like, God, how did this happen? <laughs> how did any of this happen? And I don't, I don't guess. I didn't guess. <laughs> and he goes, I'm 68. And I was like, no way. Like, I, th I would have guessed he was early 40s. Early 40s. And so I was like, ah. Now I'm in. I'm like, I, I don't have an out here. I was like, good for you, man. He goes, you ah. Great. He goes, nah, I'm not 68. He goes, I'm 52. And I was like, <laughs> all right. Like, what? That's not a big Is enough jump to play this game. Are you going to lower... The number again? Like, is this another <laughs> test? Uh, and he goes, "No, no, I am. Uh, I'm 52. I'm just in really good shape. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't take I don't any. Think that's for you to say. I don't but... take any of the bad stuff. I don't eat any fast food. I don't drink. I don't even drink coffee, bro. I don't even drink coffee, bro. And I was like, "Nice, man. Like, what? Yeah, you're in. You're in nice shape." And then he started telling me about his kids, and he visited his kids. He's got a kid who's 28, and his kids' friends couldn't believe that his dad looked like that. And 
It's just a trap. It's just always a he trap. He just wanted to tell you he thinks he looks good. It was my first time walking into a trap like that. Who's Very dramatic. All of a sudden, another big two-run homer from him. Lead. Gary Sanchez, RBI double. Is he figuring it out? Brett Gagna into the bullpen. Two-run homer, 2-2 two -two game. Is now 5-2. It's probably going to make the Clint fans mad, if we're being honest. But, you know, it's something like Gardy chases Anderson out for the Blue Jays. And that's how you burn, people. That's how the sausage gets made. Oh my God! Get out! A home run for LeMahieu, and it's six-two Yankees, and the Yankees are pouring it on as they lead seven-two. Trevor Plouffe remains the biggest idiot I've ever met. The Roosevelt race to twenty. Luke Voigt wins the race. If you gave me how many Yankee guesses before the season before you get to Luke Voigt, Judge. Stanton, maybe Glaber, it's kind of a coin flip, maybe Gary, he's been terrible, eat your butt, and then yeah, probably him, that's nuts man, Yanks are back, and the outfielders, they never move, this is a right handed hitter, deep to right center field, no, Zach. I'm happy. Scared. Probably so. Happy. Did he? No. There it goes. How about that? See ya. A home run for Clayton Torres. The Bronx Bombers are flexing. Nine to the Yankees. Kind of not cool, the Yanks. <laughs> Start saving him? Chase Anderson. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Don't take him and draft him. It's nuts. Can tell you the last time five home runs in an inning? I don't know if I've seen that. Yeah, I'd take him out, coach. I don't think he's got it today. Are these all with two outs? No, Hicks made them out. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh no, don't show this. Ooh, Kester. Trying to take my burn lines. We got better. We got better. Tweeting it out. Things are going too well. I'm officially worried. I mean, first team in MLB history to hit six home runs in three straight games. Just had that off the top of my head. Gary going? Is Gardy good? Gardy's got a recent streak that's good. I don't know. Things are exciting. Things are exciting. I'm, again, writing my burns because I'm a working man. And uh, first game, Davey went seven innings pitch, three earned runs. And, like, that's not even impressive. So, like, our bar has gotten so raised. I don't know, man. I don't know. Exciting times. Seltzer losing to the Heat. I got to keep burning. How many times are you going to do that? Can I invite another one? Nope. Or that. Okay. 101 away. It's a good pitch. Chapman? Is that from the stadium? Ooh. Bang. 101 outside. It's always been a good pitch. Oh, really fast. All right, a little scary, a little fun. Got Chapman some work. Now we go to work. Good job, so. Penis. Yeah, everything's coming.